there's several different types of spondylolisthesis, but the two most common types that we see in the general population are degenerative spondylolisthesis and ismic spondylolisthesis. And they're two very different disease entities. So degenerative spondylolisthesis usually occurs in patients that are much older, maybe in the senior population. And over time, the, the disc and the facet joint cartilage wear out. And if you're lucky, they just wear out symmetrically. But if they don't wear out symmetrically, sometimes they will start sliding forward as it starts to collapse. And those patients are more likely to have stenosis symptoms. The other most common type is ismic spondylolisthesis that usually occurs at L5S1. And no one really knows how this occurs. It's a little mysterious, but the latest hypothesis is that when you're a toddler and you fall on your butt, over time you may develop a stress fracture in the little bone called the pars interreticularis. It's the bone that basically connects S1 to L5. And then if you're unlucky, that stress fracture doesn't actually heal. And then over time, as you start to put wear and tear on that motion segment, it wears out and that fracture starts to elongate and separate and slide forward. Those patients tend to have mostly back pain and sometimes they'll have radiculopathy going down one leg and they tend to be much younger.